Now you updated to the new agent site. Congratulations. Now, what do you do with that site? We're going to talk about that. So let's go. Before we get started, I gotta give you guys a quick plug for KW Tech The Halls. It's coming up on December 6th. I know it's a couple months away, but you're gonna want to get your tickets now. They're only $15. What is that gonna get you? It's gonna get you a full day, 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. of all the tech that you can handle and how to implement that in your business and in command. And leaders, we've got something for you too. So don't worry, there's something for everyone and it's gonna be a cool gamified experience this year. So get your tickets now while you've got the early bird price of only $15 per person and market centers we have a whole deal only $199 for the whole market center to stream the event so get your tickets now while you can November 28th tickets go up and I hope to see you guys at Tech the Halls December 6th Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and yes, we are talking all about our new agent sites, and we are customizing those and making our website as customized as possible if we want to. So today we're going to talk about how to update the default pages. So yes, I want you to go into command agent.kw.com, agent.kw.com, and I want you to click on the consumer icon on the bottom left hand side. Once you're there, I want you to click on edit my website. When you edit your website, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. And in previous weeks, we added blog posts, images, and testimonials. Today, we're going to edit our default pages. So we're going to click on about the agent. And we're just going to edit the information about ourselves. So you can see here I have an agent profile. You can choose to display or hide it. If you choose to display it, you're going to click display or hide. You can hide it. I'm going to go ahead and click display. And then in the agent details, you can choose to display or hide. And I'm going to choose to display. In the agent bio, you can choose to display or hide. I'm going to choose to display. And then on my preferred vendors, vendor lists are powered by Move Easy. You'll have to set up an account and add and edit vendors. And so to do that, you're going to click this link right here. Please note, it may take a few seconds to redirect you to your account. So we're gonna go ahead and click that link. All right, so now I have a Move Easy account. I click on the link. And so now I'm just going to add a vendor. My vendor name is going to be for training purposes, I'm just going to add my favorite lender. This is one of my preferred vendors, so I am going to go back to add vendor. That's his website. His name is going to be Brad Boswell. And then I'm going to click on add vendor. Okay, so I have a, a vendor here. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to put my preferred vendors, a description I'm going to put to display. So now that I have a vendor on my Move Easy account, I will be able to display these on my website. So I'm going to click on save. Now I know you're noticing in here that we could not change any of this information in our profile. We could only choose to display it or hide it. So what I want you to do is if you want to change any information that is located in your marketing profile. So you will need to go back into command, click on your name in the upper right corner, click on settings, click on connect settings, and then click on marketing profile. Once you've done that, you want to make sure this toggle is on. It says use my information to brand my agent site. And then you can change your photo, your team logo. If you have a personal logo, you can put this here where the team logo is. Make sure your information is all correct, that your bio is correct, your phone numbers are in here correctly, and your website and your market center information. If you have any compliance links that you need to put in the footer, put those in here as well. And your social link can go in here too. When you're done, click save and that will go to your website and that's going to go to your profile page. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we just updated our about the agent page. So I'm going to click on about me. You can see Here's all that information that just came from my marketing profile and my preferred vendors. And now you can see I have Town Square Mortgage there. We just added that. 
How cool is that? That's awesome. So I'm going to go add all my vendors. So hope you like this. Let me know in the comments below if you're loving being able to customize your new agent site. I love this preferred vendor section so I can just refer my agents to this site. And if you get to this page, you can click on the URL at the top and send your clients here to see all your preferred vendors. So let me know in the comments below how you like this update and if you're customizing your About Me page. See you next week.